you have this tradition in the UK, once a year, the sun comes out and it literally is just once a year where we lock up all of the gingers. It's a very dangerous day for the ginger people. So we have to lock them away in a vault for this special day. The sun comes out and everyone goes out into a field. Everyone meets in this one big field. There's a huge baking tray and everyone in the UK, they just lie there and like sizzle for a full day and that's it for the rest of the year we don't see the sun and that day was yesterday so that's why i now look like a lobster so now that we got that business out of the way hello and welcome i'm machine day and i hope you're doing really really well these are my friends pimple and spot they moved into my face just yesterday so welcome to the new members of the team today the three of us are going to talk about the biggest update that twitch has done to their remote system since well forever really yesterday twitch announced on twitter that they'll be rolling out a huge update for emotes there are four key updates and in this video i'm going to break down exactly what the those four updates are. They affect partners and also affiliates, but they will affect partners and affiliates at different times. Some of the things are in beta and some of them they've basically already decided that they will be doing full release on. Basically, we're going to be getting animated emotes on Twitch. This will become a standard thing for people that set them up. Obviously, it's an optional thing. So if you're a partner or if you're an affiliate, you don't have to set these up, but there's not really a good reason not to set these up unless you're really, really lazy. This was announced yesterday and they're planning to roll out most of the things throughout the course of June for partners and then for affiliates later on in the year. As always, if you find this useful, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. Uh, and if you want to check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana, feel free to do that as well. You can come hang out with me, Pimple and Spot, and we'll have a great time. Let's do this. Emotes are the language of Twitch. Emotes are really one of the main things that set Twitch apart from YouTube gaming, from Facebook gaming, and rest in peace Mixer. By the way, whenever I talk about things in this video, the links will be in the description, so just check them out if you want. So obviously, this is a really big celebration of the 10-year anniversary of Twitch, and they're celebrating this by leveraging one of their key unique selling points, which is the emote system. The emote system really do add the value to Twitch and help create that real sense of community within the sub-communities that exist in Twitch, and obviously, there are millions of those. Partners and affiliates have got a real big control over how much or little they leverage the emotes for their channel. And that, in my opinion, is one of the things that really adds the value to a paid subscription. And that's one of the reasons why when you stream on Twitch, there's a higher chance that you'll make more money than you will on other platforms, purely from the point of view of dollars per person. We talk a lot about discoverability on this channel, and there's a few other channels out there that talk about discoverability. Yes, Twitch does lack some discoverability, but I'll tell you what, once you are discovered, monetizing yourself on Twitch is very, very easy on a dollar per person basis. Obviously, if you exclude the adverts because the advert fees that you get on Twitch are terrible in comparison with YouTube, for example. So there are four key updates that they're doing in regards to animated emotes on Twitch. Most of these will be rolled out within June and July, and it looks like the rest of it will be rolled out before the end of the year in 2021. The first thing they talk about is, of course, animated emotes in themselves. They're adding the ability for you as an affiliate and also you as a partner, if you're one or the other, to add five new animated emotes. Now they could be, if you wanted them to be, a replica of your current first five emotes, particularly if you're a affiliate, you get five emotes for a tier one sub, and they could just be animated versions of those, so people can use the static or the animated version, or you can literally have five completely new animated emotes to the existing ones that you've got. You're going to be able to manage the animated emotes from the existing emotes page. They did recently move this in January over to a completely separate area of its own. They've obviously done that earlier in the year, knowing that they'd be making some major updates to the emotes. Now, this is interesting because YouTube gaming and Facebook are still majorly lagging behind regards to the value that they add via the custom emotes. Twitch is taking like quite a giant leap forward by adding these before the other guys have even caught up with Twitch regards to emotes. It also creates the opportunity to really cement that unique selling point of theirs and create a lot more personality from those emotes. Adding animated emotes seems like quite a straightforward thing to do, but when you talk about all the different devices out there, compatibility and things like that. It's not as simple as it sounds. The developers at Twitch definitely would have had like a job to get this done. I would not be surprised if they had a team of at least 20 or 30 people dedicated to this for the last year or two. So the animated emotes will be managed on your current emote page. There is a screenshot further down here of what this might look like. I'm just going to show a preview of this. Now currently as an affiliate, you get five tier one emotes. And I think it's one tier two and one tier three. If you're a partner, you can unlock a lot more. I think it's like 50 more emotes. The animated emotes will will be released to partners in June and then affiliates is expected would have this before the end of the year. Twitch have said this. Viewers will be able to turn off animated emotes if they want within their settings. So if you're a viewer and you're worried about reactions to animated emotes, don't worry too much about that. You'll be able to turn it off. 
So what exactly are animated emotes? Well, they're going to exist in virtually the exact same form as the current emotes that exist. The sizing will be exactly the same. It's what, 28 by 28 pixels, 56 by 56 pixels, and 112 by 112 pixels. The difference is rather than being a PNG file, they will be a GIF file or a GIF file, or however you pronounce it. I really hope my viewers pronounce it GIF. If you pronounce it GIF, man, I don't know what to say. Twitch confirmed that there's a maximum of 60 frames that you can have within the animation. In a traditional format, GIFs can have more than 60 frames, but for Twitch, they're limiting it to 60 frames only. So you essentially got 60 pictures that you can put into a exact square format and create movements and color changes and transformations and things like that. And they will look pretty cool, especially on mobile, but I think they'll look pretty good on desktop as well. I've already done some videos about how you can add GIFs to your channel as sources. You check the links in the description below and then maybe like a card somewhere. But in the next week or two, I will upload a new GIF related tutorial where I show you how you can create GIFs in Photoshop or a similar program to Photoshop. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to make sure you get that video because this is gonna be pretty cool when it rolls out. I think this can make the difference between somebody choosing to subscribe to your channel or not. It's gonna be quite a big deal. We see some examples of what these can look like. I'm quite surprised that Twitch have used this knife one as an example because they're pretty careful about what they actually allow. Of course, the same safety rules will apply. You can't have abusive emotes and things like that. So you do still need to be careful with those. All the same rules and regulations will apply there. The second thing that they're rolling out as part of this major update will be the ability to animate existing emotes. So if you've got existing emotes, there and you just want to use them and animate them in certain ways, you can do that. And Twitch has added six default animations that you can add to an existing emote. Shake, rave, roll, spin, slide in, slide out. And here we see a preview of what those look like. I think they all are pretty cool, actually. They've used the Kappa as the example here. I particularly like the rave one, but I'm sure there'll be new animated emotes that come out of this from, from top streamers and meme moments that we see on Twitch. So Twitch sort of acknowledge here that there's quite a lot of work into creating good emotes. And they realize here that they're going to be creating even more work for people to make animated emotes. Twitch is super competitive. People have a choice whether or not they subscribe to you or not. But of course, whether they subscribe to you or someone else. So there's going to be a lot of pressure for creators to create these animated emotes as soon as they become available for both partners and affiliates. So this is one of the reasons why they've added this second update, which will form a part of this wider update to animate existing emotes. The third update that they're doing here will be to add follower only emotes. What Twitch is actually doing here, they're essentially adding a free tier to your affiliate or partner landscape. Now, currently you get obviously tier one, tier two and tier three, and they have different price points and you get specific emote benefits providing you've uploaded emotes to those. They're all being enhanced and there's more value contained within those because you can simply add more emotes to them. Everyone will be able to have more emotes and those extra five that you get will be animated emotes. That's a big deal because they're giving free of charge a lot of extra value to anyone that subscribes to your channel, anyone that wants to pay Twitch and you money to subscribe to your content. So that's obviously really good, but they're also now incentivizing people to follow by unlocking emotes emotes on a particular channel. Now, the key thing about the follower emotes, they will only be able to be used on the channel that you follow. So for example, if I follow you and you've got follower emotes uploaded, I would not be able to use those on anyone else's channel. So this is quite interesting. I think they're offering the ability for non-affiliates and partners to be able to at least use the emote function by having the follower emotes here. And there's obviously up to five of them. So that's quite a lot that you get straight away, right, right out of the gate. So these are community specific emotes. If you choose to follow a community, and be a part of a community. So here, Twitch talk about the follower emotes being in beta mode and how creators have asked for this for a long time. To start with, these are gonna only be available to partners and affiliates on a test basis, but it's pretty clear, in my opinion, that these will be rolled out in full to everyone. I don't think this is gonna be a partner and affiliate thing long-term. I think this will be an everyone thing. Having said that, that does also mean that Twitch will need to police more people in terms of the content that they're submitting for emotes, and that creates a lot of extra work and takes out some of the profitability for Twitch. So I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm fairly certain. So this is a free benefit. The moment someone hits the follow button, they get access to those. Obviously it's in beta, so not everyone's going to get access to this straight away. If I get access to it on my channel, I'll do a further video about follower emotes just to show briefly how those work. But we do have another screenshot here, which I'll zoom into. It says beta access in locked follow emotes are new. Free tier emotes that lets you grow your community by giving viewers more ways to join in the conversation. Upload up to five new emotes or pre-existing emotes that viewers will get access to for free. So you can use pre-existing emotes and just have them on the free tier if you want or if you're lazy and don't want to add new ones. <laughs> 
The final and perhaps the biggest update of the four things that Twitch will be rolling out this year for emotes is the library of emotes functionality. Now, I briefly showed it earlier in the video, but they're going to have a section where you can manage loads of emotes, not just the ones that you've already got uploaded. Now, I've always thought that the user experience, the UX and the UI of the emotes on Twitch has been a little bit poor, not brilliant to use. And many web developers that take a look at that would probably agree with me there. Basically, once you've uploaded it, there's really not much you can do with those emotes. They're either locked in or you've got to delete them to edit them. And it's just not that good. With the library function that they're going to roll out, it looks like they're going to allow you to add up to 150 emotes in your library that you can use to interchange emotes easily without having to re-upload once you've kind of finished with them. And that just means that you can bring back older emotes, swap things out a lot more and keep things a lot fresher on your channel. But it also means that managing emotes is going to be a lot easier. So obviously the emotes still have to be approved and stored uh, to be easily accessible. If you don't have instant approval because you've not built up that 60 or 90 day approval rating from Twitch, you'll still have to have an approval rating for these. But once you've got that, they'll exist in your library, they'll be approved and you don't then have to go through the process again. Twitch talks here a lot about being more agile and offering creators ways to just shape their culture and community a little bit better by making the library a lot more functional, flexible. For now, they're saying that the library will only be available to partners and affiliates. So going back to my other point about the follower emotes, that perhaps alludes to the follower emotes maybe only being available to affiliates and partners. But I really think that Twitch will be missing a trick by not allowing non-affiliates and partners to have emotes. In terms of timescales, they say here, we anticipate all partners and affiliates will have access to the library within a few months. And once again, just a quick review of the usability of this. It does say here, 140 out of 150 emotes. And the ones that are highlighted here seem to be the ones that are not currently in use. Whereas the ones that are not highlighted have like a tierage indicator under it. For example, this one here looks like a dab is a tier one. Then you have this uh, one here, which is a tier two. But one thing that's really encouraging to see here is that they've got some kind of filtering and user experience stuff here. So you can sort and search for your emotes as well. Because 150 emotes is quite a lot to have to search through and manage. It's good that they're baking this in before they release it, as opposed to trying to retrofit it a year or two later. We can see that the animated emotes don't exist in tier two and tier three. So it looks like there'll be no extra benefits for tier two and tier threes in terms of animations or additional emotes. But that could change by the time they actually roll it out. So don't quote me on that. There's also another page again, I'll link this below about what the animated emotes are going to be. It just confirms that the size of the pictures needs to be square. It needs to be a maximum of 496 by 496 pixels in terms of the GIF itself. But of course that'll be auto resized. If you're going to resize it manually, you can still do that. And a maximum of 512 kilobytes. Also, the thumbnail for the animated emote will default to the first frame of the GIF. So you may just need to be mindful of what that very first frame of the GIF actually is. Interesting here with the easy animate. So animating an existing emote that you may have, there is literally just a drop down animated emote selection box here where you can select one of the six animations that are available. And I guess that would preview it in the three sizes here as well. So there you go, huge update from Twitch from the emotes point of view. I really think this is going to help leverage their strong position from a culture point of view, interactivity, and add a lot more value for people that are subscribing to your channel. It's going to take time for them to get this right, and they will be rolling this out at a pace that suits them, I'm sure. There'll be lots of bugs that they have to iron out. I am very interested to see how the follower emotes impacts channels, because that immediately gives somebody a much more incentive to follow a channel and get involved in a community rather than kind of sitting on the sidelines. A lot of people do do that. They'll just watch a channel for a few minutes. Sometimes they'll bounce away. Sometimes they'll convert to a chatting viewer. And even if they convert to a chatting viewer, they still don't always follow. Now there's an instant incentive for people to follow and more of an incentive for people to subscribe because of the animated emotes. This is really, really interesting because although this doesn't directly affect discoverability, this won't tangibly affect the discoverability of a channel in among itself. It will directly affect the conversion rate of followers on channels. So channels that have follower emotes will obviously experience a higher commitment rate from a random viewer that may pop in. And that's a really good thing. And the reason why it is a good thing is because you've then got more of a chance of being seen by a lot more people. So it does indirectly affect discoverability. So this paired with the tags update, major update that they released a week or two ago, some serious steps that Twitch are taking and a lot of investment towards improving the discoverability for yourself, but also adding a lot more value. I'm really keen to know what you guys think. Drop a comment below and also check out the tags video that I did as well. I'll link that here or here or some I'll link the video okay hope you enjoyed this don't forget to click like subscribe follow tweet sub to me sub to me on a tiff but just see you later